Western economic sanctions imposed to force Russia to abort its invasion of Ukraine continue to rattle the markets. They have a severe impact on the commodity market. Oil responds to the situation with steep gains. Thus, Brent crude oil futures have already broken a 9-year high and WTI crude has hit an 11-year peak. Moreover, some analysts raised their short-term oil price forecasts to $125 per barrel. Fears of global supply shortages are rising along with a number of restrictive measures adopted by Western countries. On Wednesday, the U.S. announced new blocking sanctions on 22 Russian entities linked to the defense sector. In addition, the White House detailed a new slate of economic sanctions against Belarus and restrictions on technology exports that will affect the Russian oil and gas industry. Even if this does not happen, oil prices will hardly go down. Many Western companies are already trying to find alternative energy supplies. Oil exporters are facing mounting pressure, with experts anticipating hard times in the global market. After all, Russia is the world's third largest producer of oil. Thus, its blocking will inevitably lead to a shortage and a jump in oil prices. Technical analysis is also disappointing. Amid panic jolting financial markets, Brent crude oil futures continued in their bullish run. Almost every day the trading instrument hits a new local high of the uptrend. The quote is currently trading around the levels of 2013. If the market remains in a speculative mood, oil prices may well reach the high of 2012 – $128.37 per barrel in the near term. The long-term scenario suggests a rise above the all-time time high, that is $147.5 per barrel. While oil is just moving towards its highest level on record, the ruble has already broken through its historical low against both the US dollar and the euro. Western sanctions have hit the economy, while panic has aggravated their impact. Russia's annual inflation rate accelerated to 9.1%, while unemployment rose to 4.4%. The Bank of Russia is unlikely to start new interventions, and analysts refrain from making forecasts due to high volatility. Nevertheless, negotiations with Ukraine may bring some stability to the market and slow down the pace of ruble depreciation. Diplomatic efforts to resolve this issue is seen by the market as a glimmer of hope. This allows the ruble to find support throughout the day and even make some attempts to recover. All attention is focused on the diplomats as the future of the exchange rate depends on the outcome of their meeting. From a technical point of view, the dollar-ruble pair set a new price record on the Moscow exchange, surging to the level of 110 rubles per dollar. Then the rate rebounded from that peak and kicked off the new trading day with a price gap. Thus, the quote was even below 98 rubles per dollar. The joy was short-lived and the rebound was followed by a pullback to the level of 100 rubles per dollar. This indicates that speculative fever continues. Therefore, new spikes in the currency pair cannot be ruled out. Meanwhile, gold continues to make erratic moves. Of course, its growth potential remains high, but the yellow metal cannot gain upside momentum in any way. High volatility driving the markets today has no impact on the trading instrument. In fact, since its strong growth in late February, gold has been drifting within a wide range of $1,940 per ounce. Apparently, the main reason for subdued trading activity is uncertainty. Investors are fleeing from risky assets, but investing in gold rather cautiously. Without taking into account the global situation, it can be assumed that the true potential of the yellow metal will become clear in the next few days. The crisis will either push gold prices up or the asset will remain within its current limits. As for technical analysis, gold futures pulled back slightly from $1,930 per ounce. At the same time, market sentiment remained bullish. If the quote consolidates above the level of $1,935, the volume of long positions will increase. In this case, the way to the area of $1,945, $1,950 per ounce will open. Otherwise, the pullback may be replaced by stagnation. And that's all for now. Please take care and trade prudently. Have a profitable trading day and see you back soon.